Former Trump staffer backstabber urged to get a lawyer after being accused of a crime. As you all probably know by now President Trump's former aide and confidant which he met on his TV show, The Apprentice, Omarosa Manigault Newman secretly recorded conversations which she herself had with President Trump and Chief of Staff Kelly inside the West Wing. Recordings which Breitbart is now reporting may end up with her in federal prison. Even though a confidential source was quoted as saying they had listened to at least one of Manigault Newman's recordings which featured the president and at least one has been made public. But multiple sources familiar with the tapes told the outlet that it seems to be Trump's voice on the recordings. The sources told the news publication that the conversations between the two which they heard were inoffensive and commonplace. But nonetheless, these recordings can contain sensitive matter which pertains to the security of the United States of America. These recordings come to light as Omarosa is researching her book new so-called tell-all book Unhinged. And both Omarosa and the White House declined to give comments when asked. Here is more via the Daily Beast, Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's former personal attorney and fixer, isn't the only one with secretly recorded audio of the president. Multiple sources with direct knowledge of the situation tell the Daily Beast that Omarosa Manigault Newman, the infamous former Apprentice star who followed Trump to the White House, secretly recorded conversations with the president conversations she has since leveraged while shopping her forthcoming tell-all book, bluntly titled Unhinged. For months, it has been rumored that Manigault had clandestinely recorded on her smartphone tapes of unspecified private discussions she had in the West Wing. Audio actually does exist, and even stars Manigault's former boss. One person confirmed to the Daily Beast they had heard at least one of her recordings featuring President Trump. Multiple sources familiar with the Omarosa tapes described the recorded conversations between Trump and Manigault as anodyne, everyday chatter, but said they did appear to feature Trump's voice, either over the phone or in person. The mere existence of such recordings represents a dramatic betrayal of trust by a one-time confidant who has since abandoned years of professed loyalty to the president and has apparently decided to profit off her years of closeness to Trump. Trump particularly loathes the idea of being recorded without his knowledge, and felt especially irked and betrayed when news broke that Cohen had done so, as the Daily Beast reported late last month. Manigault didn't respond to a request for comment on this story. A spokesperson for Simon & Schuster, Manigault's publisher, would not confirm or deny the existence of those surreptitious recordings. Without commenting on the specific contents of Unhinged, the spokesperson said, We are confident that Omarosa Manigault Newman can substantiate her highly anticipated account of life inside the Trump White House. The reality TV star turned White House official turned reality TV star again promises the book will provide a candid and revealing look at her time inside the Trump administration. Part of the book documents what she describes as Trump's mental decline. The president, she claims, rambled. He spoke gibberish. He contradicted himself from one sentence to the next. In a page from the book obtained by the Daily Beast this week, Manigault lays out what she describes as her and Ivanka Trump's involvement in an attempted White House purge of leakers, with Anthony Scaramucci, the short-lived White House communications director, leading the effort. Along with his comms directorship, Scaramucci had a secondary job. He was apparently the hired hitman, Manigault writes. Very low-key, Ivanka Trump went around to the original Trumpers, the loyal soldiers, and asked the team to compile a list of suspected leakers. I'd already said my piece about Katie Walsh directly to Donald, and she'd been let go. But Ivanka wanted a new list and, once she had it, she would give it to Scaramucci, so he could fire them all. The final list that was texted to me on July 22nd had 10 names on it. 
Manigault then lists former administration colleagues who were suspected of leaking, Vanessa Morone, Lindsay Walters, Janet Montesi, Raj Shah, Kelly Sadler, she of the John McCain is dying anyway comment, live by the leak, d asterisk e by the leak, Laura Barger, Ori Renat, Kate Carnes, Michael Short, and Jessica Ditto. Omarosa is Omarosa and she just couldn't leave well enough alone. She had to cause controversy just like she did on The Apprentice, where most everyone except then host Donald Trump despised her. She was called every name in the book when she was on that show. The president should have known better than to trust someone who seems to have issues wherever she goes in the professional world. It was a huge mistake for the president to bring a woman like this into his administration, but sadly what's done is done.